Hi y'all, um, I am going to be cooking up some lunch here and I, for those who make, like to make their own stuff, I have a thing about rice aroni. I just like it a whole lot and um, I make my own. Um, so I just thought I would walk through it in case anybody chooses to do this at home too. What I have in here is um, two cups of uncooked rice and into that I'm going to put one cup of pasta. You can do angel hair or vermicelli or thin spaghetti. I just want to kind of get it see in small pieces like this. And all these actually sells it already broken like this, which I very much appreciate. It saves me a lot of time and trouble. And they're a really good store if you haven't checked them out recently, by the way. Okay, and to that, we're going to add a quarter cup of parsley. And this I grew my own. Just store it in the freezer. Okay. And six tablespoons of chicken bouillon. And then we're going to do, I can find my teaspoon here. Um, we're going to do two teaspoons of onion powder. And again, you can make your own if you um, dehydrate your onions and um, grind them up. I have a coffee grinder that I use for this stuff, so there's one, and there's two. And then our next that we're going to do is a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Of course, you know, adjust this to your own taste. Um, I like extra garlic, so um, typically the recipe says half a teaspoon, but I'm doing one. I really love garlic. Okay. And the next one is going to be a quarter teaspoon of dried thyme. I am not a humongous fan of this one, so yeah, this one I'm going to be cautious with because it's just not my favorite spice in the whole world. But I try to get it in there anyway because I know it's beneficial. And this is not in the recipe, but I really have a thing about ground mustard. I really like it. So I am just shaking some in there. Um, I would imagine this will come out to probably about a quarter teaspoon I hope by the time I'm done. A little slow but <laughs> there we go. And then you're just going to mix it all up and um, what you want to do is store it in an airtight container and uh, I'm going to be back with a video to show you how I cook it and um, I'm going to be putting some of my um, dehydrated I showed you guys hamburger rocks but I also do turkey rocks I just take ground turkey and treat it the same way as um, the dehydrator as the ground beef rocks hamburger rocks I think is what I named it so anyway yes you do the turkey exactly the same way and um, cook it get all make sure all the grease is removed you're going to rinse it underwater stick it on the dehydrator and let it dry out so i will be back when i get this stuff cleaned up and um in case anybody's interested okay i'll be back okay i'm back i have two tablespoons of butter melting in this skillet and what you're going to do is take um one cup of your mix and you're going to stick it in the butter. Get in here. Good. Seal this back up for now. I'm going to vacuum seal the top so that it stays airtight. And you're going to do the same with this as you do the store-bought stuff if you've ever tried it. Is you're just going to stir it around in the butter. 
and you're gonna just kind of cook it a little bit until your um, spaghetti gets a little bit brown in here then after that we'll be um, adding the water and letting it cook till it's done um, turkey pulled out I don't have a lot of my turkey left but that's okay this will give me lunch for probably three days easily and I kind of like not having to cook every day it's just me after all so And I kind of have my heat, not quite on high, but it is cranked up there because this is kind of the longest part of it for me. So, um, other than that, the only thing you're going to need to get ready for this is um, just water. That is it. It will start to stick a little as it browns, even though you've put butter in there. That's... That's what the store-bought stuff does, too. You can use whatever kind of rice. Can you see the pasta is getting brown? Right here. That's what we're looking for. Doesn't take too long. I'm going to give it about another minute. Kind of know by smell, too. Anyway, I do like this better than the store-bought because at least I know what goes in it. Okay, so now that we have that browned, you're going to add two and one quarter cups of water. And I've got to get just a little more here. back here today and what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring this back to a boil well not that it really looked like it was boiling but it was pretty close anyway you're gonna bring this water to a boil and as soon as it gets there then you're gonna reduce your heat and you're gonna cover it and simmer it for about 15 minutes with the lid on um, at this point to rehydrate my turkey this is the turkey rocks. Kind of looks a lot like the hamburger, but this one's turkey. Because the, my turkey will rehydrate as the rice cooks. Kind of why I like having these. They're so handy. It's a really quick, easy, throw-together dinner. Lunch. You can change this up. You can do, you know, beef bouillon. You could change it and make it however you like it. Um, you may want to add some other herbs. I did actually add um, a quarter teaspoon of turmeric in here as well, too, just to try to help the ligament in my leg that's giving me fits. Anyway, um, I want to make sure this is at a good boil. It is pretty close, but I would like it to get a little bit harder yet. And then that's it. Cook 15 minutes. Covered. And, uh, you know, you can add no meat to this if you want. Um, you can just use it as a side dish and have your meat somewhere else. It's just dependent if you like rice aroni or not. I kind of got hooked on it a long time ago. I don't have it all the time, but I do kind of like to have it around now and then, and now's one of those times. Okay, so we have hit a boil again. So now all I'm going to do, excuse me, I am noisy, is cover her up. I'm going to reduce my heat, and I'm, we'll be back in 15. Okay, it's been 15 minutes, and we're back. Woo. Sorry, I steamed up. And there is the rice aroni. You can see the, tur the um, turkey has rehydrated really nicely in there. It's nice and soft, spread throughout. 
so I'm going to have some for lunch for the next couple days. Pretty easy all in all. Y'all have a wonderful day. God bless you.